Hi friends, it's Sarah from Ruffles and Ray Boots and today we're making a five minute clay pot snow gnome craft. Oh my goodness, that's a tongue twister. So we're just going to be making this little cutie. As you can see, he's got his little snowman arms. There's some legs tucked into there too. And if you would like to make him with me, just boop, stick around. As always, please like this video so I know you're here crafting with me. It helps me in the algorithm. So as you can see here, we're using a very simple hat. I have pipe cleaners and fleece from the Dollar Tree. I have a scrap of faux fur, and you can even make it with the legs. I used pipe cleaner and wood beads. So we're gonna start with a four inch clay pot, and this one's really banged up, which is why I'm gonna be using it for this. I'm gonna add, start with a layer of white acrylic gesso. You can use white chalk paint, spray paint, anything you've got on hand just paint that bad boy white now it does take a couple of coats because it's clay and it will suck it up so if you want to seal it first you can I hit it with my heat gun just for a few minutes so that would dry very quickly and I didn't have to wait all right so I'm gonna go ahead and do it with a second coat of this acrylic gesso and while we're waiting for that to dry go to rufflesandrainboots.com head over to this little search icon and type in snowman you're gonna find a whole bunch of crafts and goodies that you can make for the holidays also there go ahead and search gnome and see what you come up with all right so back to this fun guy we're going to use a Dollar Tree Infinity Scarf that I got last year. Um, you only need a little bit of it. So I'm going to wrap it around where I want the hat to be and then I'm gonna add an inch. So if you would like to have a very loose hat, add half an inch for the seam and then three quarters of an inch for the, um, like just the beard and nose and everything underneath. All right, so I'm going to use two half inch beads for our feet along with pipe cleaner. You can use rope. And then I'm also going to use a brown pipe cleaner to make arms. First step is I'm just going to make him a cute little brim for his hat, so I'm gonna tuck that up. And then I'm gonna put the right sides together um, and make a sort of cylinder, and that's gonna be our hat, the whole thing. I'm using a Shure Bonder fine tip glue gun, highly recommend it, with just regular glue, not fabric hot glue. To make the feet while the hat dries, I'm just going to cut my pipe cleaner in half thread it through the bead and twist it so it doesn't come off. If you have kids or pets that might get this, go ahead and secure those on with hot glue. Well, now that your pot is dry, you're just going to position your legs. I'm gonna fumble mine a bit there. You're just gonna position your legs and glue them on the inside of the pot. So this was a suggestion by my nine and three quarters year old daughter. And uh, like I said, you can display them with the legs or without. The Dollar Tree rope, the thinner one, would be super cute here too. You could see it a little bit better than the white pipe cleaner. It was funny, we did this and then said to ourselves, hey, snowmen don't have feet, but you know, it's whimsical. All right, so now that your hat is completely dry, you're just gonna be scrunching up the top and tying it with twine or embroidery thread, whatever you can get your hands on. That's it. And because I did cut my hat high it's going to build on itself so you don't even need any stuffing it's pretty nice i secured that with glue and tied it off or and cut off the the strings so i had an extra piece of this little i don't know three inch or so scrap so i'm going to cut a two inch wide by one inch high piece of faux fur pull off any excess and i'm actually going to split that in just a second because i realized i only wanted a mustache I painted a wood round orange, which I had to make because I apparently have no orange paint in my entire craft room. And here you go, while that's drying, I am going to split this in half and I'm just going to layer it. Now this allowed me to have a lot of room for his buttons, which is what I wanted. So all we're gonna be doing is splitting this with our fingers. Um, you don't have to be all technical, but we're gonna be layering it, layering it on top of one another. In order to do that, we're just gonna make sure we get a bit of hot glue right on our pot and then put your one layer down. And then you're gonna add hot glue not only to the top of that fur, but just over the top of that fur because you're gonna squish it down and sort of push it up over that first layer. And that way everything is hidden and you don't see the ugly bit. I'm gonna use a dog brush, cause of course, to split this down the middle to the faux fur backing, which we'll need in just a minute. But before we get to that, grab a Sharpie, or here I'm using a Posca paint pen, and make three circle-ish shapes. 
<laughs> for buttons. Be sure to keep your fur out of the way so you don't have to do any touch-ups. And then fill those in and let those dry. If you are using a Sharpie, it's going to go a lot easier for you than a Posca. Posca takes a bit to dry. So here I am back from lunch with my very dry guy and now I'm just going to start building him like we would build any other gnome. So you can see my little hat there has no stuffing but it really holds itself up well. In order to attach the nose we're just going to split the fur to the fabric backing, put a generous portion of hot glue there and press our bright orange nose right into it. Once that's dry I'm going to add some hot glue to the top of the nose, pull down the hat over the top to get the scrunch. I'm going to tuck down that hat everywhere else that I want him and I'm not going to glue him down yet because I want to make some arms so I only glued down the back. To make my arms I just cut a bright brown pipe cleaner in half. I made a little bit to tuck up under the hat and then twisted one end down into two pieces for his hands. You could also use like wood beads or a stick from your yard, whatever. It's about using what's in your craft room, Sarah. <laughs> Sorry. Alright, I tucked those up under there. I'm going to glue them and I'm also going to glue pieces of the hat so I can keep that puff in place all the time. So it doesn't matter what I move or how I move it, I'm going to have that puff. And here he is with his cute little puff tat, his bright orange nose, and his buttons. Let me know down in the comments what do you think? Would you make this with a little wonky clay pot? As always, thank you for being here. Please like and subscribe for more crafty fun.